Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Public News Podcast. I'm here with Center Shift. I got Jason, Stefan, and Ryan. Hello. Yo. So, hey, guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. I'm Jason, uh, singer, guitar player for Center Shift. I'm Stefan, drummer for Center Shift. I'm Ryan. I play guitar and cause trouble yep. for Center Shift. I like that. I like that causing trouble. <laughs> so, um, talk about trouble. How did this 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 crew come together, man? Where did you guys meet? How did uh, Center Shift come about? It was kind of the uh, the band in the making for a long time. Um, we each came from different bands. Stefan and I had played together in a previous band, Blueprint, uh, during the '90s, and then uh, which became a band called One Side Zero, and then uh, that's where I met Ryan. We had the same management. And we'd always wanted to jam and this and that. And then our bass player, who's not here, Ted, was also in a band uh, called Bemis. We took them on the road. So it was kind of like everybody through a musical family um, joined to make this, to make oh, Center Shift. Cool. How long have you guys been together? Two weeks. Right? Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, two and, weeks ten and two days. Uh, this is our second show. <laughs> no, about uh, almost two years with Stefan, this lineup, you know, solidified. This right lineup, on. so about two years. Right on, right on. So you know, people are gonna see this live, you know, on on uh, on Facebook. They're gonna want to check it out, and you know, where where can they find your music? What what platforms is out there? If you know, when they want to go listen to more and, and then get into the groove, where where can they find you guys? So we're on uh, our labels, Auspicious Wolf Entertainment, Auspicious Recordings, and Wolf Entertainment. So it's everywhere. Um, our Spotify is Center Shift. Our uh, Instagram is Center Shift underscore OG. And then uh, same thing for uh, Facebook and stuff like that. But we're on every platform. Right on. Um, yeah, we uh, you know really appreciate everybody who's supported us so far with our first record. We just finished our second record, and uh, the single will be dropping soon. And then the record. So very cool, very Thank cool. You. So you know when people watch this live, they want to go check you out. You know, you guys got any upcoming shows that uh, you want to talk about or you know lay out there? Yeah, we got quite a bit. You got the dates, <laughs> Rizzle. Ryan, what do you uh, got? You know the names and venues better than me. I'm just the guy that shows up, <clears throat> and plays. Yeah, the uh, 29th at the sewer. Yeah, the Ventura sewer here in Ventura. Here. Oh, yeah. We uh, love it. The 6th of April, Corbin Bowl. 7th in Santa Barbara at Whiskey Richards. May 4th at the Hotel Ziggy in LA and Hollywood. Uh, Am I doing pretty good? Pretty good. Pretty These good. guys don't know it yet, but I've got a whole uh, tour being worked out right now. For oh, sweet. April, uh, Santa Cruz. June, July. Yeah, Santa Cruz. We're going to Santa Cruz. That'll be fun. Where, where are you guys based out of? Where, where's your, where's, what's home for you guys? L.A. Or LA. The, like San Fernando Valley. Okay, right on. Little, little right on. Well, well, look, man, you know, so uh, I like asking this question just so people could get to know you guys a little bit better, you know, kind of get a feel for who you are, you know. What inspired you? You know what I'm saying. What what made you want to, to sing, to pick up that guitar, play the drums? You know what what who inspired you? You know, ladies, want you guys kind of elaborate on that, man? Okay. Um, for me, I'd say it was just young, being young, listening to the radio, but hearing like Hendrix and Jimmy Page and things like that at a young age really just got me mesmerized by guitar, and then just going deeper down the rabbit hole and then getting into everything from classical to jazz to punk to metal to whatever. Um, kind of a myriad of everything is kind of what brought us to where we are right now and what kind of what we write like as well. We have a little bit of everything in our music as well. You know, there's a little bit of stuff for everybody, which is good. But I would say, based on growing up, we're still probably still bastard childs of the 90s and early 2000s <laughs> as well, though. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, just a uh, musical family. My yeah. dad was a musician, so I had... He had his band in my house, in his house, our house, when I was born. Yeah. Literally. That's like, awesome. Every Monday night, called it the Jazz Underground. And he had some of the baddest musicians in LA, the West Coast Jazz. Um, he had a whole studio with instruments there. Oh, cool. So cats yeah. could just come over, had a yeah. drum set, grand piano. But yeah, it had, he'd have a list of of musicians and they just show up on Mondays. They knew between like eight and 11. And there were some guys as I was growing up, I didn't know who they were, but there were some heavy jazz cats in my house right. as, a, as a youngster. And then meeting Jason and having a lot of the same musical influences and just vibing and like, yeah, now here we are. I mean, it just keeps, keeps cruising. 
Yeah, jazz, man, jazz is something else. There's some cool, cool jazz players out there, man. They, they oh, get down man. with it. They it's, get down that's with it. like... I bet it smelled like jazz cabbage. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> yeah, right right in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a wild time. And great to hook up with Jason and Ryan and, you know, Ted. I wish he was here, too, our yeah. bass player. It's been really cool. The last couple of years has been fun. We've had fun. Good, good. Yeah. That's what it's about, man. You know, you're doing music to express yourself, and it shouldn't suck. You know, it should, should be fun. It should know, be fun, yeah. If, and... if it doesn't become fun, then, or right. if it doesn't stay fun, yeah. maybe you kind of yeah. reconsider it, you know? Because yeah. you go through the ups and downs, you know, when uh, being a band to strive to get to the point of putting a record out or being signed and all those things, you know, that when it actually meant something before the, the Spotify's and, you know, where kids can just put the CD out tonight right right or put a song out you know you worked hard for it and stuff like that so if it even though the ups and downs and the, and the hard work for it it's still fun and if it's not then make it fun yeah absolutely. yeah definitely it's important to make it fun especially all the you know like all of us have been playing and, and you know record deals touring europe wherever like you know over the past 20 years and whatnot but time on <clears throat> doing that time off going back to music, going back to different bands, different projects, but most importantly, always remember what you started with in the first place was having fun, getting in a room with your buddies, whatever, losing yourself in those moments. You know, it's still, with even with everything and such being like a one-touch, you know, one-touch of a button on your phone these days, it loses some of that magic of being in a room and with all your friends and listening to an album together or a new album gets dropped or released and you go check it out or something. But still... You always have to remember to bring that back, and if it's not present, you have to bring it back yourself. You know, I think that's very important. No matter how old you get, it keeps you young. It reminds you of your youth. You know, yeah, for sure. mm-hmm. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because we you know we do have, we do a lot of punk shows here. That's great, man. We got you know guys. You know, they're in their 60s and shit. They're coming out here. They're still just throwing down, that's wailing. Great. You know, that's, that's right. great. Right? I you love know, that. It's funny because it's like, oh, I, I got to get up. I got to go do surgery in the morning. Like, <laughs> you know, they be punked down the day right. surgeons. Yeah, you know, it's funny, but it's cool. You know, and that's they still got right. that love for it, the passion. You know, they come out and they, and, they, and they throw down. But hey, man, hey, thank you guys for coming here, man, sharing your talents here. I can't wait to see you guys play. Thank you. you. Know, yeah, looking forward right on. to it. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. thank you for having us. You, you. Yeah. Appreciate sure. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hey guys, if you get a chance, man, watch. Center Shift, you know, check them out online. Go download their music. Uh, support these guys, man. So, yeah, cheers. Right. You. Guys, Second have a good... record comes when? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, before summer. The, the single, we're looking at dates it's right all now recorded. for the single. It's yeah. all but when, hey, when that album drops, man, I want to have you guys back. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'd love to. We'd love to be back. We love sure, the place, definitely. by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah, did a walkthrough. I've cool. eaten here outside, but we did the walkthrough, and it's a different vibe at night. This is really cool. Yeah, cool. Thank you, guys. Very awesome. Very awesome. Thank you guys for having us. Yep, center shift, man. You guys have a good night. Take care. Thank you. Cool.